Hello to all of my Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading Aries. Let's do it. Happy solar eclipse and happy new moon in Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. The planet of enjoyment, relationships, cooperation, erotic love, sexual desires, beauty, romance, attraction, aesthetics, art, and music. Yes. So now that we're at the end of this cycle, or if you watch this on Thursday, we have a couple of more hours before it ends. And then we're going to move into the 14th. And um, a lot of things are coming out. A lot of things are coming out. A lot of things are coming to the surface for a lot of people. And so pay attention. Pay attention. You don't want to be rushing around and tackling 25,000 other things where you miss the messages. Let's get right into it. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aries. Hopefully you all are setting your intentions and getting ready for a major reset with this solar eclipse. Um, and, and, you know, we're coming to the end of a cycle. It's already, already a lot of anxiety coming to the end of any cycle, right? Happening in everybody's life. But when we have coming up on a solar eclipse, it can cause you to be extra exhausted, right? Plus Pluto is now stationed direct. So you only have four planets that are currently retrograde opposed to five planets. And so Pluto is that one that's breaking those generate, helping up all of us break generational cycles, chains, and curses. And, um, so just... You know, watch yourselves, watch yourselves, watch yourselves, you know, protect your energy at all costs, protect your energy. Here we have the page of pentacles. So I see money coming across your path. We also have the ace of pentacles. You've been working really, really hard. Toss some names into a burning bowl. Toss some names, people, places, and things, anything that has burned you, burned you out, left you in a state of confusion or anybody that's connected to that type of energy, you know, toss it out. Because you want to make sure, see this is eight of cups right here. You want to make sure your eight is um, aligned. You're landing on the bright side of the number eight. All energy has a light side and a dark side to it, right? So eight, which is energy, it's a number. The light side of the number eight lets me know that you have your head screwed on straight. Like I, I have, I know what my purpose is. I know how I'm going to create um, an infinite amount of resources to accomplish my task to do my part in, in, in bettering mankind, right? And so you could be dealing with an energy whose number eight is out of alignment. And what that means is that they have either succumbed to powerless and passive behavior, and this is going to be real important. They have either succumbed to powerless and passive behavior, or they are being bullied, right? They're being strong armed, dealing with somebody who is materialistic, egotistical, and um, and, um, aggressive, that kind of energy. So you, you even deal with somebody who's being bullied or being bullied, right? But source is saying to you, move on from it all because it'll throw you out of alignment and it'll block your money trying to come in. So whoever you dealing with and you trying to, you know, whether it's family members, friends, it's a, it's an actual spirit source is saying, get as far away from it as possible. You know, curiosity, your curiosity may be like, I want to know exactly I need more answers. I mean, it seemed like a salacious story, but the more and more you fall back into that kind of energy, the more and more it's pushing you further away from your money. So you choose, I got to keep asking why, or am I going to get my money? Right? So sources say have compassion, but move on. Be in a posture of gratitude, leave some things behind you. That's going to be real tempting for some people because the emotions could be attached to it, right? Emotions could be attached to, you know, maybe codependency. I got to help somebody. I got to step in there. I got to take it. And depending on who it is for you, it may be easier said than done. It may be easier said than done, depending on who it is. You know, if you feel like somebody's being bullied or, you know, something like that, but, um, or you feel like somebody is, you know, unstable because this is a lot of, um, this is a lot of, um, emotions here. So somebody could, you know, you could be tossing the, the name of some energies that you feel like are unstable and you're like, I'm removing myself from any of that. Cause I don't want to be on a receiving end of someone who is unstable. So that's very important to be able to slow down and read between the lines. This is not the time to you know, whatever. So anyway, here we have the nine of swords. We have the three of swords. We have the four of swords, the queen of swords, the universe card, and also the temperance card. 
You know the the energy that's coming up for me for you all. Here we have the universe card. So you definitely have the universe on your on your side telling you just toss some things into a burning bowl and move forward. You do have a guardian angel that's watching over you. You know what I'm saying here? Your car is airy. Somebody is very spiritually. I mean, somebody is very gifted. Like somebody is very gifted and talented. Um, lots of creative gifts here. Looking at your cards, whether you're a singer, dancer, something having to do with entertainment, arts, music, all these other stuff. So source is saying, I'm trying to make your life better and send more money across your path. But when you're dealing with energies that are in very toxic environment, it can make them seem like they're mentally unstable. And source is saying, get away from that type of energy. So, but the bigger picture here, and source wants you to see it from a higher frequency is what comes to mind, um, for those of you all who read the Bible, or who believe in King James version of his life, what comes to mind is the scripture 50, 20, Genesis 50, 20. So what the enemy meant for evil, sources turning it around for your good. And so something had to happen for somebody to finally to say, I need to walk away from something. And with somebody, somebody's creativity, they're in a very toxic situation and sources saying free yourself so that a situation doesn't get worse. We're talking about like a nightmare situation here. Here we have the nine of swords. We also have the three of swords. We have the four of swords and the queen of swords. Sources like from your throne, source is going to send you information about what's going on so you can carefully vet your thoughts and don't block your own money. So you only have two pentacles cards here. You have three so far. You have three um, uh, cups cards here, So, and but you have the majority of sword cards here. So that lets me know that is something very toxic going on that's, that could potentially cut your money in more than half. So if you're looking at something, and sources saying stay away from the fire so that you don't get burned in a situation. Um, but you got to see it again from the higher frequency. Like I need to stay away from anything that could burn up my money, that could you know, um, you know, cause an even worse nightmare in my own life. This number nine right here. So I need to keep springing forward and not keep falling back into situations, even, you know, even protecting your ear gate and eye gate from negative conversation. Remove yourself from that. Conversations about who, who burned me, who did this and what's going on, people's mental health issues and all of that. So it's just saying stay away from that conversation because you're blocking your own money. You, so, so, you know, it's, that's the, you have the queen of cups here. So it's just saying, queen, be compassionate towards an, a situation. Be very compassionate towards a situation because when you're dealing with energies, I don't, I don't joke about, you know, I joke about a lot of things in my channel, but I don't joke about mental health because that's, that's very serious. I think everybody has been in situations where it just was like overwhelming and just unbearable, whether it was a job romantic relationship, friendship, or whatever. And you really don't know what people's breaking point is because something has been a nightmare for somebody and that could cause a breaking point for somebody. So source is saying as disappointed as you may be in certain situations, it's time for you to move on from something. Too many people having nervous breakdowns and it's just coming out on a whole lot of other people. And so source is saying, save yourself. Five of Swords, the Six of Cups, the that's somebody's ancestors coming through. The Devil card, the King of Cups, the Devil card, the Two of Wands, and then also the High Priestess. Yep. All you do is need to sit on your throne and Source will bring all the information to you. It'll come down through dreams. It'll come through other, whether you're getting readings and other things will come through. But protect your energy because somebody is chained to something. Chained to some fear or doubt or uncertainty about your own future or whatever. And you got an ancestor that's coming through saying, throw out all that toxicity. Get as far away from some toxic situations and focus on your creativity. So we got the king and queen of cups here. King and queens of cups, right? So when we talk about <clears throat> we talk about emotions, you know, the emotional signs are uh, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces, right? So we're not necessarily talking about a particular Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, just so we're crystal clear. But they're the I believe sign, the I feel sign, and I empowered. So somebody feels they believe something having to do something having to do with you. This is what something having to do with you and they're trying to mix mix their pain in with you. And it's like a person is blaming you for manipulating a situation. 
if that makes sense to you all. And source is giving you an opportunity through a loved one, whether you had a reading or you see a psychic or someone of you have, if you have psychic abilities to get away from a very toxic situation, toss it into a burning bowl, but move on and don't look back. This is this right here, two of swords. This has nothing to do with whether you're afraid of somebody or fear, doubt, whatever, because that's what this is, the devil. The devil is the, you know, the author of confusion. That inner, It's not a person. So it's not like it's going to jump out of a closet. It's like your, your carnal mind, you know, your thoughts about things, fear and doubt, which could cause you to stay in a very toxic situation. Here we have the two of wands. And source wants you to move on from something, like really move on from something and, and say, you know what? Let me pick up my power. It's two situations in particular. Let me pick up my power and my, my intellect and let me move forward. Let me stop looking back because this is how people get caught up because they're looking back. They're replaying something over in their mind, just checked out, rethinking something. Just your mind is just like it's a person who is distracted by their thoughts and boom, here comes something that you didn't see coming. And that's what source wants somebody to turn away from. Because when I see... You know, something is cutting into somebody's happiness. When you see this sword energy right here and this right here, like some something is cutting into somebody's happiness. And Source is saying someone is very, very vengeful. So when you see, as we're moving towards this, well, actually the moon is in Libra, even if you're watching on a Thursday, it's, a, it's already in Libra. Um, Libra is ruled by Venus. And when when Venus is out of alignment, it's quite vengeful and it's quite vain and it's disrupting everything that's peaceful in its path. So source is saying to you, your intuition is extremely heightened. You have a lot of spiritual gifts or at least you're connected to some energies with very um, highly spiritually gifted. Source is saying, see things from a higher frequency. See things from a higher frequency. we have enough stuff where, you know, like we see on, you know, I, I don't watch the news, but you've seen enough. It's the social media. You don't even have to, you don't even have to watch television. It's everything is on social media clips and all, but we see enough, uh, we see enough things in the media just overall where, uh, people just snap. And that's what I'm looking, seeing here in your cards. You have just as much sword energy as you have water energy. It's like something that's cutting into like a sword is cutting into someone's happiness. And um, it's hard for somebody to move on. It's hard for somebody. It's like somebody is like, okay, just very negative energy. It's like, okay, something, they somebody feels like you could be cutting into their, their stability. You could be cutting into their security, their money, their prosperity. They feel like you are cutting into their patience. They feel like you're cutting into... Um, their tenacity. And so source is saying you could be one of those energies that feel like, okay, well then, you know, I'm not going to back down or whatever the case may be, or you can see it from a, a higher frequency. This is a compassionate from your throne and say, if I can't help lift you up to a higher frequency, I'm not going to be a part of tearing you down and causing somebody some kind of a mental break. So here we have the page of wands. We have the nine of pentacles, the, the hangman, the two of pentacles, the four of wands, and also the four of cups. I do see a new and exuberant love coming into somebody's life. And I do see somebody settling down. That's where you see the cake right there, possibly getting married, like a courthouse marriage or something like that, or maybe a wedding, you know, where I see for somebody. But I do see here we have the two of pentacles, an additional stream of income trying to come in. So you have new energy coming in. And this is why this person sources saying, leave the past behind. Leave all the burnout, the drama, the narcissism, the all of that stuff. Leave all of that behind so Source can bless you. A lot of times people will say, I give and give and give and nobody ever really gives me anything. Source is trying to send more money and new love somebody's way. And so if there's some loose ends, somebody feels like they need to tighten up, this is this tied up right now because Source is bringing you towards uh, financial independence. This number nine right here on the other side of all of this is like, okay, I didn't know something. Now I know. So my money, you know, I'm not trying to cut into my money anymore. I'm not trying to slow anything down. Here we have the hangman. Source is saying, hang in there with yourself. Learn how to dream bigger, speak things into existence and move towards that. Here we also have the page of wands. 
And, um, and so somebody's going to have this new, like sources cooking up something nice for you. So somebody has some new motivation that's going to strengthen you. Like I can do this. I can move on. I can, you know, I can, I can stay focused, you know, that kind of thing. So this is not fear of doubt of like what somebody's going to do, whatever. But again, you don't want to play a role in someone having a mental break that could actually ultimately affect a whole lot of people. So here we have the four of cups. And so four cups right here. I thought I saw that. Oh, uh, no, no. Yeah, so somebody's sitting around ruminating over something. Some kind of, you know, manipulation and your emotions and stuff are all tied up in it. But remember, you all are ruled by Mars. Mars is the energy planet. So when you're talking about taking action and assertion, it's also the planet of fighting spirit, conflict, people who see you as competition, those kind of things. And so somebody like i said before it, it's a it's a lot going on in these cards it is a lot going on in all of this so um so it's just saying it's just better for you to when you're dealing with people that you know that they the you know there's some kind of strain on somebody's mental health so as it says best for you to remove yourself from an equation because it may not be you that's harmed. It could be either them or somebody else that's harmed. And you don't want to play any role in that. Let me remove myself from the equation. Because something is, when you see this much water here. So all of this is right down in the sacral chakra, right in your pelvic bone. I'm talking to men and women. When you're dealing with this kind of um, uh, amount of water, this pour out, this amount of water that's poured out because of some thinking, overthinking here. So it's just saying you're dealing with some energies that's, spiritually dehydrated but they're also spiritually dehydrating you so the first thing that somebody pours into you through your ear gate or eye gate water we're talking about any anything through the vibration of sound through water whether you're watching something negative where people are pulling their hair out and rolling across the floor that's the that's the frequency they're on and you don't really want to you don't want you don't know what kind of environment they're in because water takes the shape the form of whatever environment you put it in whatever container you put it in. So if they're in a very negative head space and people are constantly pouring toxins into their ear, snap. So you put yourself in a clean, clear environment where there's positivity, where you're using your creativity as clean water being around other creatives that are speaking of how we can create, how we can create in a space where, um, we're increasing our wealth. We can put our brains together. Like we're all smart. We're all this and that. We're putting our brains together to see how we can create financial independence and thus bring other people up, inspire other people, motivate other people to their thrones. So we can do it. So can you, instead of being in a situation where you're dealing with energies that's emotionally dehydrated and you don't, you don't know what kind of environment they're in and you don't know what their mental state is. So protect your energy family 23 so um i know i did a i did a i did a reading um uh, one time before when i was just it was just like it was really really dark about somebody's sibling you know flirting with somebody's spouse it was just crazy again only take what resonates with you not everybody's sibling is out here flirting with their brother and sister spouse or whatever but something having to do with family whether it is your family like family or someone else's family. That's why this card came out right here. Right? And so this pink right here will connect us to love, self-love. You could do, be dealing with somebody who doesn't love themselves enough. They don't know how to nurture themselves and they could be pulling on other people's energy and see you as a threat. Like I said, your ruling planet is Mars and Mars is that planet of conflict, competition. It's also the planet, it's the energy planet. It's the planet also of assertion and action. So source is saying to you, do this right here. Toss it into a birdie bow and go on with your life. Because when you do, I'm telling you, I, I can't reiterate it. And I don't want to sound like a broken record. But when you're dealing with people where you don't know what kind of environment they're in and who they're connected to, you don't know what. You, you just don't know what. And this is not operating in fear. This is operating in wisdom. Because, you know, it, it affects, it all. It always affects more than just one person. Especially when you see family right here. It affects families. So have faith in your dreams. That's right. Have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. 
Have faith in your dreams. Grounded. That's right. Many of the uh, most evolved beings on earth are being are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So there's a lot of growth in you, and there's also a lot of growth around you. And source is trying to grow some people's money. So when you're dealing with people that are showing you that something is off, and I'm talking about like in a violent way, like you know, like sword cutting way with their words and their actions, or they try to strong arm or bully people, those are the energy you don't want to be around. Those are the energies when you're sitting there going, well, you know, that's just how people, okay. You mix that with people who have, who, who's struggling, you know, with, with some things and you don't know what type of energies they're around. Mm -mm. Save yourself. Affirmations for acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. Yeah. Somebody is definitely dealing with some family members who, um, and on one hand, like this, like this also be outside something having to do with family. Like I said, whether it's your blood relatives, like family or like family, you know, could be like friends. Like, you know, this is like my sister, this is my, like my brother, right? This is like family. Or it could be somebody else's family, Aries. Um, what's still coming through really, really strong is that somebody is dealing with a sister. Again, if you have a great relationship with your sister, I am not talking about her. A woman is dealing with a sister who these um, who have been something happened between the ages of eight and fourteen. And it's so much of a mix of emotions in there that it's just, it's, it's really, really a very toxic mixture. You know, it's a very toxic mixture. Like something in this spirit is just really demonic and just very, um, it, it's not something you want to mess with. I'll just put it that way. And again, it's not because of fear. It's because of wisdom. It's because of wisdom. So... Number eight, I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and you're capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. That's right. Yeah. Like I said, you're dealing with an energy and, and it goes back to what I said before when eight is out of alignment. When eight is out of alignment, you're dealing with somebody who's either being bullied or someone who's on the receiving end or giving end of being bullied. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I will see you all on Sunday. Um, happy solar eclipse. Happy new moon in Libra. You already have the questions for the moon in Libra. Protect your energy. Like I said, looking at your cars. Like I said, you have a loved one that's, you know, reiterating this. Like toss out all that bitterness and the confusion and, you know, feeling like you were manipulated and all this other stuff and just move on. Like seriously move on because you're too creative and there's too much money trying to come across your path. You're too smart for this. Plus somebody has new love coming across their path. You're going to just feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. If you can just not be tempted, this is the tempter right here. It's not a person. It's your, your carnal mind. It's your flesh that's tempting you to fall back into something where source is saying, I'm trying to get you to spring forward into a much better life, a much better life. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.